Uh, Mason, uh, Georgia obviously has a very strong defense. What are you seeing on, on, uh, on tape or video of these guys, and what, what challenges do they present to you? Um, yeah, they're definitely good. I mean, their defense is probably top in the country, but um, they have a, a good a good front, good secondary, overall good defense. So we just got to go out there and play LSU football and just uh, stick to the, what we're coached and execute every play. How hard is it, if it's been difficult, to make sure any of that kind of emotional residue or anything from A&M doesn't bleed over this week? Have you guys already flushed it? I mean, are you talking about it anymore? Yeah, um, yeah. since Monday, yesterday, uh, we just throw all that behind us. We review everything, what we did wrong, what we did good yesterday, and we just move on, and we move on to this week, and it's definitely a big week for us. So we definitely threw Texas A&M and whatever else in the past. What does it mean to you to have that support from your family? Of course, your brother's doing just as well mm -hmm. as you are, and you got your mother and your father giving you good advice throughout the way. Oh, uh, yeah, the support from them has been awesome in this journey, but um, they're definitely going to be there this weekend. They're definitely excited for it as well. And what's it like to turn on Sports Center and see you know, your highlights alongside your brothers and just having that whole moment? Yeah, it's definitely a cool moment. Um, I'm, it's great to see him doing good as well as me, so definitely a cool experience and a cool moment. With this Georgia defense, I mean, are they, I know Bama was physical. Uh, Bama had, you know, some size, especially in the secondary. Would, yeah. do, you, do you see any similarities with them? Because you played so well against Bama. Are there similarities in what they do physicality-wise? Yeah, I think our coach was talking about it today, that up front, they kind of do the same thing. Um, they have big guys up front, and they kind of run, not, I'm not going to say the same defense, but almost the same defense up front. So we're just going to have to stick to what we're coached and execute. How's uh, Jaden looking in practice lately? Is he active at all? Oh, yeah, he's active. He's looking good. I would just say he was looking good. Hmm. Um, if, is Nuss preparing as if he has to go? And if so, how is that kind of going with everything in practice? Um, no, I think it's, been, it's just been the same. Uh, same rep, same rep count. So um, just day by day and coaching them the same. Can, can you speak to what Jaden does when he runs, when he gets loose, how that opens everything. Because we, we, we see him, he's so slippery, but we forget that a lot of times he does it to open up throwing lanes to get a better vantage point of open receivers. Uh, yeah, so I think what he does, he does, yeah, running uh, really well. Um, he definitely is hard to contain. And I, I think every every team we play tries to scheme for him, keep him contained, and you see he slips out of it. So he definitely does a great job doing that. But, um, you know, we're working on things, and he's definitely getting better every week at throwing the ball, running the ball, and just staying in the pocket as well. Are you guys motivated by the underdog tag, or is it just, uh, once again, this is our process, this is our opponent, stick to what we do? Yeah, I'd say we're just yeah sticking to what we do. I mean, we're not going to go and play up to their level. We're just going to play LSU football, and the job's going to take care of itself. How much of this do you think is mental, that, hey, we can do this? We're going to go over here and win this game. Yeah, I'd say a lot is mental. Um, and that's the one thing. You can't just be scared just because they're ranked higher than us. Like Just like Bama, we weren't scared going in that game. It's just kind of the same mindset. In other sports, you know, you hear people talk about the rookie wall and how people that come into a sport in their first year kind of get exhausted. How are you able to keep that condition increasing and to keep yourself motivated throughout the year? I'd say, I mean, just the process. It's been a long process, but it's been a cool process, especially since uh, Coach Kelly just getting here this first year and we've been so successful and everybody thought we wouldn't. So uh, that kind of keeps you motivated and keeps you going. And definitely playing for an uh, SEC title is kind of a big deal. So that's also... Uh, it keeps you motivated and keeps you going. Can you look at the A&M loss as a little bit of a silver lining because you guys are so anxious to get back out there. You are so anxious to put a good product yeah. on the field versus, hey, you win, I'm sure you're going to be prepared to the highest level, but there won't be a little bit of anxiousness going yeah. into Saturday. Uh, yeah, I'd say you said it pretty pretty well. Um, we're definitely yeah anxious to go play this game and show everybody what we got. Frank Wilson, apparently the running backs coach, you know, is real big on ball security and, you know, don't fumble. Well, what about Cortez Hankton or the, the guys that coach you at your position? How important is it, you know, return the ball to the team? Yeah, definitely that's the main thing is just keep the ball on our side and uh, definitely secure the ball. We work on it in practice a bunch, so definitely securing the ball is a big part of the offense. What is uh, What does John Emery bring to the offense when, you know, he's electric? and doing what he can do. 
Uh, like yeah, like you saw last game, he had a couple good, good, great ones. So um, he definitely, can, if he sees a hole, he could go and hit it. He got tremendous um, eyes, and he he could see a hole from a mile away, and he can go and hit it. So he does a great job doing it. When you look back on when you got here, fall camp, you know this season, are you surprised with? Not your production, but how you've been used. I mean, the two-point conversion in Alabama, you know, you're the go-to guy. Have you, has it been surprising, but how they've gone to you as much and how utilized you've been? I'd say, yeah, Coach Denbrock does a unique way of using tight ends, and I think um, as I play a part of that, but I definitely think it's kind of like it shows that the coaches trust me, and I just take it as a compliment and just um, keep doing my thing so they can keep trusting me throughout this process. Thank you. Gotcha. Thanks, man. Thanks, Thank man. you. Gotcha. You can go ahead and head up there.